Hello, I'm Stormwind Instructor and Cybex author, William Panic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a user of a Windows 10 Enterprise system a local administrator for that system. Now, there may be times when you need to actually allow somebody to be an administrator over their own system. For example, let's say that we have a laptop that individual people need to take out in the field so that they can run test equipment using the laptop. Well, when they plug the test equipment in, a lot of times different test equipment requires that the user set up a different IP address so that the laptop can talk to the test equipment. Well, to change an actual IP address on a Windows 10 Enterprise laptop, you have to be a local administrator for that machine. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to create a local account and then I'm also going to show you how to create a domain account and I'm going to show you how to make both of those accounts local administrators for the Windows 10 box. Now by making them local administrators they will not have any administrative privileges when it comes to being on the domain. It just means that they are allowed to administer their own systems. Now some companies like the idea of allowing people to administer their local boxes, some companies don't. So make sure before you make any changes, check company policy so that if you do make your users local administrators, you're not breaking any corporate policy rules. So let's go ahead and start by creating a Windows 10 Enterprise local user and making that local user and administrator of that Windows 10 Enterprise system. So here, as you can see, we have a Windows 10 system that's up and running. Now this Windows 10 system is Windows 10 Enterprise. So what the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna right click and we are going to open up computer management. Now when computer management opens up, we're gonna click on local users and groups, and we're gonna click on users. So I'll expand that and click on users. I'm gonna right click on users and I'm gonna say new user. So for this particular demonstration, let's just go ahead and we're gonna say the name of our user is John Doe. So we're gonna make it John Doe with a period full name, their description, they are in the field, we'll go ahead and set up a password form, make sure that whatever password you choose, you make a password that fits within the local policy. They can uh, set the use to change their password the next login, we're not going to do that just for this, I just want to show you how to create the user but if you want you could set it here so that the next time they log on you tell them the password and the next time they log on it'll force them to change that password so at this point we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna say create and we're gonna close now you'll notice that under our local users and groups we have a John Doe account now let's go ahead and give John Doe administrative rights over this Windows 10 box now, to do that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go into Control Panel. Again, you could do that by just right-clicking on the Start button and choosing Control Panel. Now, once I get into Control Panel, I'm going to go down to my User Accounts. I'm going to click on User Accounts. Now, when I click on User Account, it's going to bring you to the account you're currently logged in as. I am logged in as the administrator will panic. What I want to say is I want to say manage user accounts. So I'm going to click on that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose John Doe. Now when I choose John Doe, there's a couple things I can do. I can go into the properties of John Doe and I can make some changes and I can also set up their group membership. Here is where you're going to go ahead and you're going to set them as an administrator for this local system. So by choosing administrator, I'm just making them an administrator for this system. Now, another way is when you click on John Doe, you click advanced, 
And at that point, you can go in and do some advanced, like advanced user management. So I'll click on that. And here you can go back into local users and groups and you can do some advanced management. You can also manage the passwords from the advanced and you can also set up if you want to use secure sign-ins. So at this point, as you can see, John Doe is an administrator for this local machine. Now let's go ahead and let's go to our Windows Server System. And by going to our Windows Server System, we're going to go ahead and we're going to now add a domain user account. So this time, what we're going to do is we're going to add this account within Active Directory. So I'm going to right click. I can go at any point into my computer map. I'm sorry, excuse me. We're going to just click and go into Administrative Tools. And then I'm going to go into Active Directory Users and Computers. We want to make this a domain user. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new user. Now, I have an organization created here called NH for New Hampshire. And then we have the Users OU. You can put the user wherever you want to put the user. So I'll just go ahead and I'm going to make it under the NH Organizational Unit. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to say New User. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to set up a new user. Now for this user, I'm going to set it up as Jane Doe. And the account is going to be Jane.Doe. I'm going to need to set the same thing as I did as the local account, set up a password. And again, you've got to make sure that this password meets password complexity. Again, you can say the user can change their password at next login. I'll say finished and Jane Doe is created. Now at this point, Jane Doe is just a domain local user. If I wanted to add Jane Doe to any other groups, I would click on member of and at this point I would add Jane Doe to any groups. What we're going to do is now we're going to go back to our Windows 10 system And we're going to go ahead and we're going to add Jane Doe into the Windows 10 system as an administrator just for this Windows 10 system. Now to do that, again, I'm going to go back into my control panel. I'm going to go to my users. So click on user accounts. I'm again going to say manage user accounts. And this time I'm going to hit add. Now I'm going to add in the actual Jane Doe account. So I'll type in jane.doe. The domain is stormwindad.com. So now if you want to, you can also hit browse. And at that point, you could actually just put in Jane Doe, say check name. It'll ask you for a username and password to make sure that you have the credentials to be able to add Jane Doe to this local system. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my administrator account, showing that I have the right as a domain admin to add Jane Doe to this system. So once it clears, it shows Jane Doe at Stormwind. I'll say OK. Click Next. Now it's asking me which level of permission do I want to give Jane Doe for this machine. I'm going to click on Administrative Permission. I'm going to say Next. And I'm going to say Finished. Now when Jane Doe logs in to this system, Jane Doe will also be a administrator just for this machine. I click OK. I can close my control panel. And that's all there is to it. In this video, I showed you how to create a local user 
on a Windows 10 Enterprise system and then make that local user a local administrator for that same system. Then I showed you how to create a domain account and add the domain account as a local administrator to the Windows 10 box. I am Stormwind Instructor and Cybex author William Panic, and I look forward to seeing you in one of my classes real soon. Thanks for watching.